Uh, blessings, everyone. All right, I'm just going to keep going here. Uh, here is a, um, uh, what did he call it? Uh, Jonathan Clark, he blocked this, this gentleman, I believe, because the gentleman here uh, questioned about turning the cross upside down, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play this. I, I just found this. That This just, I didn't even find it. It was right there. Like I said, this is how it's been happening with me. It's just right there. So I'm picking it up. And here, I'm just going to play this out and then continue what I was planning on doing. But this here, I, I feel it was important. So this is here. I know you can't read it very well. It doesn't look like you can. But uh, here is a reply to this gentleman. Uh, who commented about uh, the cross being upside down. And here it says, you are one of the most deceitful people I've seen on YouTube. May God have mercy on your soul. And it's still a little blurry here for me too. So let's just continue here and see what, what, what happens, okay? He's not talking about the God of the Bible. Do you want to know what's real, what's counterfeit? Do you want something to help your discernment? I'm going to help you get your Holy Ghost antennas up. cross that Jesus went to as your key to freedom. Turn it upside down. For clarification purposes, so you understand. The key to the kingdom of heaven is not an upside down cross, because that's what Satanists use. The keyhole is shaped like a cross. Put the cross in, and then turn it upside down, and the bolt retracts, and the door opens, and there's the kingdom of heaven. The key to the kingdom of heaven is not an upside down cross because that's what Satanists use. Peter died upside down on a cross. He was a mirror image of the crucifixion, the key to the kingdom of heaven. Now you got it. Now you just got it implemented. The key to the kingdom of heaven is not an upside down cross because that's what Satanists use. Peter was crucified upside down. So, I've been continuing and saying, that is the key, those are the keys to the kingdom of heaven. For clarification purposes, so you understand. Okay, here, uh, the comment here, a motorcycle, okay, I, I can't get, make it out. Uh, this was at 214, why turn the cross upside down, okay? Jonathan Clark answered, it's the key to the kingdom of heaven. I don't think I did in there. The key to the kingdom of heaven is not an upside down cross because that's what Satanists use. The devil always thinks on himself. Yeah. Now watch this, guys. Our Lord died on a cross, right? Like this. When you're initiated into Satanism, you're given a ceramic cross. You're told to turn that cross upside down, take the two points and break them down, symbolizing that there is no God. Right out. Jesus! Now you have a new internet connection that goes straight to God. You cut the old internet connection to the devil, the prince of the power of the air. You cut that one off. You install the new one, which is Jesus Christ. You install the new one. You install the new one. You install the new one. <laughs> okay. So I'll be leaving that in the description box. And uh, yeah, for 
for you that want to go and, and hear this again in its fullness, I do recommend that you do that. Okay. I just noticed something here. I was just going to click off and look at his eye. Something's going on here. It's all white. Well, anyway. Because I can decrypt what they do. Whenever you see a priest holding a little boy, let me tell you something. It's not what you think. You're going to hear him hiss here. Think. It's sick. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I freaked out one time. I told him, well, I can't do this. This is too much. I can't deal with this. So now it's kind of like getting some vindication. You know, it's like, yeah, <laughs> Like that. It's like that. It's like, dude, you wanted it, you got it. So, let me take a break and heat up my coffee. That's why the Lord made my personality like it's mm. going to be unhinged. It's good. Okay, I just want you to hear this here. Um, mm. it. Is it okay? I got it off my chest. I'm not going to sit here and cry. Like, I've already cried a river about all the horror that I've seen and all the horrifying stuff and the sewer of shit that I had to wade through to get to the truth. I've seen horror. Be honest. You would not believe. I'm not even going to talk about how bad it's been. Some of the horrifying shit I've seen. Because I can decrypt what they do. Whenever you see a priest holding a little boy, let me tell you something. It's not what you think. It's sick. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I freaked out one time and I told him, well, I can't do this. This is too much. I can't deal with this. So now it's kind of like getting some good. Okay. I'm just going to let this play out a little bit and then I'm going to turn the volume right down or close to being right down and I'm just going to read out the scriptures. Okay. Again, this is about divination. This is about numbers and word letters and things that are upside down and backwards. And there we go. Okay. So they're going out and they're putting scorpion tails in everyone's yard. There's a scorpion tail. There's the poison. She's got no eyes because her, her identity is concealed. Now, I'm going to take this image right here. It says flotection since 1937. I'll show you right here in the Bible. Uh, in the Strong's Concordance, the word 1937, it means to desire, to lust after, luck. I long for, covet, lust after, set the heart upon Desire, lust after. Oh, this is. Here's the Zoomies bag. I just showed you. I want to make this real for you. This is an actual bag you get at the store. I mean, look at this. Look at this thing. I'm holding one. That means people are walking around with this in their hands, not knowing what they're actually For the king of Babylon stood at the parting of the way and the head of the two ways to use divination. He made his arrows bright. He consulted with images. He looked in the liver. At his right hand was the divination for Jerusalem to appoint captains, captains to open the mouth in the slaughter, to lift up the voice with shouting, to appoint battering rams against the gates, to cast them out, and to build a fort. And it shall be unto them as a false divination in their sight, 
to them that have sworn oaths, but he will call to remembrance the iniquity that they may be taken. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because ye have made your iniquity to be remembered, in that your transgressions are discovered, so that in all your doings your sins do appear. Because I say that ye are come to remembrance, ye shall be taken with the hand. And thou profane, wicked prince of Israel, whose day is come when iniquity shall have an end. And that, thus saith the Lord God, Remove the diadem and take off the crown. This shall not be the same. Exalt him that is low and abase him that is high. I will overturn, overturn, overturn it, and it shall be no more, and until he come who right, whose right it is, and I will give it him. And thou, son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord God concerning the Ammonites and concerning their reproach. Even say, Thou, the sword, the sword is drawn, for the slaughter it is for furbished to consume because of the glittering. Whales like the... Uh, Whiles they see vanity unto thee, whiles they divine a lie unto thee, to bring thee upon the necks of them that are slain of the wicked, whose day is come when their iniquity shall have an end. Shall I cause it to return into his shelf? I will, I will judge thee in the place where thou wast, wast created in the land of thy nativity. I will pour out my indignation upon thee. I will blow against thee in the fire of my wrath and deliver thee into the hand of brutish men and skillful to destroy. Thou shalt be for fuel to the fire. Thy blood shall be in the midst of the land. Thou shalt be no more remembered, for I, the Lord, have spoken it. The word of the Lord came also unto me, saying, Thus shalt thou not take thee a wife, neither shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place. For thus saith the Lord concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place, and concerning their mother that bear them, and concerning their fathers and begat them in, in this land. They shall die of, of grievous death, deaths. They shall not be laminated, lam, lamentated, sorry. Neither shall they be buried but they shall be a dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by, by the sword and by the famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. For thus saith the Lord, Enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to the lament, nor be mourn them. For I have taken away my peace from this people, saith the Lord, even loving kindness and mercies. Both the great and the small shall die in this land. They shall not be buried, neither shall men lament for them, nor cut themselves or make themselves bald for them. Neither shall men tear themselves from them in mourning to comfort them for the death. Neither shall men give them the cup of consolation to drink for their fathers or for their mothers. Thus shall not always not also go into the house of feasting to sit with them to eat and to drink for thus saith the lord of hosts the god of israel behold i will cause to cease out of this place in your in your eyes and in your days the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride and it shall come to pass when thou shalt show this people all these words and they shall say unto thee Wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Or what is our iniquity? Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our God? Then shall they say unto them, Because your fathers have for forsaken me, saith the Lord, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law, And they have done worse than your fathers, for behold, ye walk every one after the imagination of his evil heart, that they may not hearken unto me. Therefore will I cast you out of this land and into the land that ye know not, neither ye nor your fathers, and there shall ye serve other gods day and night, for I will not show you favor. <clears throat> 